Debuting in 1966, the cosmic adventures of the Enterprise crew have kept audiences and Trekkies on the edge of their seats for decades. And that ain't about to change with the latest instalment, Star Trek Beyond. We got no ship, no crew. How are we gonna get out of this one? Written by Simon Pegg, who also stars as Scotty, Beyond is an absolute thriller, with Zoe Saldana returning and Idris Elba making his Trekkie debut. Our captain will come for us. Mercy will be the last thing on his mind. I am counting on it. Exploring the further reaches of uncharted space, Kirk, Spock and the rest of the gang encounter a mysterious new enemy who looks set to put everything the Federation stands for at risk. Uh, oh. Okay, let's never do that again. Would you please welcome Zachary Quinto and Chris Park? I'm going to kick off asking you the same question I've asked Matt Damon and Billy Crystal this week. We need a <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> Can one of you do it, please? Done. Done. <laughs> Isn't there already a politician named Chris Pine? Yeah. There, there is. There. Is a I hear about this. There is. He's a bit of, a, he's a bit of an icon on our show. Chris, Chris actually has a wizard room of his own in his house. <laughs> I think he's good for the job. Have you, have you jazzed it before? That was my favorite segment I think I've ever seen. How good was that guy? There is no other job this gentleman could be doing. <laughs> Either he... that or some kind of salon specialist. Yeah, he's he has a gut oh, like lock. I wonder how he, how he jousts against, like a practice. Like... And it looks like it really hurts. <laughs> yeah, There's yeah. one part of the clip where that the jousting thing Broke. went right into some guy's head. Okay. This is coming from you. You've just been in the most action packed movie of all time. No, You're no, admiring no. jousting. No, no, no. It's all fake. It's all fake on our set. Oh, that congratulations real. Congratulations on the film. I mean, this is the third instalment. Well, you know, what's, I guess, the, the favourite part for you about this chapter? What have you enjoyed most about this chapter in it? I would say being together with everybody again. Uh, we, we filmed this movie actually in Vancouver, uh, whereas the other two we filmed in Los Angeles. So it was kind of like summer camp last yeah. year. We actually got to spend a few months away from home and uh, fully immersed in the experience. It was really quite, quite good fun. Guys, we were, we were in the cinema today watching this absolutely fantastic film. I think what's fantastic about it is the way you walk that tightrope between satisfying audiences old and new. I mean, is that a difficult thing to do, given that you've got such a fan base from, you know, like the 60s and the 70s? We do. I th with the, the thing that we've done, I, I think, hopefully well, is that the, the creative team behind the show is very kind of evenly split between those who are diehard uh, trekkers and those who, who aren't. So there's enough kind of new energy in there and there's enough people that want to uh, imbue it with something new. And, and for me, for my part, the, my favorite part uh, uh, above and beyond working with everybody else is the humor. And we always, I think, <laughs> I think we have a lot of fun outside of uh, working and hopefully we bring that energy to the set. And I know this is obviously the third time you guys have played these characters, but how, how did you even initially go about approaching the characters, iconic characters, and making them your own without making it just an impression, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it was very clear from the beginning. JJ was, uh, was very straightforward about wanting us to bring our own perspectives to, uh, to the characters. I was really fortunate to have had Leonard very involved. He was in the first two movies, and... Uh, and, and was really supportive uh, from the beginning. We were able to forge a really great friendship through our, uh, our common bond with this character. But um, I think that was always the, the point for us was to, to bring our own perspectives, our own points of view, uh, and honor what came before. And this being the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, I think it's, uh, it's all the more important that we kind of celebrate the origins as well. I think the likeness with you and, and um and uh, Spock is, is, is incredible. But growing up, did it, was that ever a thing? Like, did anyone ever say, you could be Spock if they made the movie? I, you know, I did, uh, did full-on rock the haircut uh, through most of my teenage years. Uh, yeah, no lie, like serious, like straight up bowl cut. Oh, uh, I would love to see so I, was, I, was, I, was I know, I wish I had it, but I was prepared. Trust me, I was preparing well before I knew that it was a job on the horizon. Just on the subject of your appearance, the story of the ears, how long did they take to put on? Oh, the ears take... Or did you grow them. I grew. <laughs> I uh, harvested the ears. <laughs> they take about the whole process now we've got down to about uh, two hours which you know oh is not gosh. it's not that bad wow. though. Idris was in makeup for like five hours for this yeah. role. And I this mean, one just rocks up gets his hair done. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on does that 
mean, like, would you, could you just sleep with them? So otherwise, you'd have to do it every day. No, <laughs> uh, I, unfortunately, they're you know they're really really delicate and uh, and they take a lot of time and care putting them on because they you know they they shoot so close that I wish oh I wish I could just God. wear them. That would be great. You, can you hear through them? Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't even know they're Zach. on. What? <laughs> that they're on once they're on. I promise. We're going to come back and we have a, a, some more fun with you guys, but we wanted as a show just to pass on our condolences, um, obviously, to the tragic uh, death of uh, your co-star, Anton Yelchin, uh, only happened a couple of weeks ago. We reported it here, and, and um, we just really wanted to offer our sincere uh, condolences to you guys. It must be a tough time for you guys. It um, was just... It's been the two of the worst weeks you could ever imagine, and... Um, he was a beautiful, beautiful man, a really good man, and uh, gone too, gone too mm. soon. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, we've got to take a break now, but we will be back with more of these guys, Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto in a moment. Stay with us. So welcome back to the project. We're here with Zach Quinto and Chris Pine from Star Trek. Now, this is a when I was watching it, the cast, the crew, there are a lot of blokes in this one, but you're Chris about to do. Have you just finished Wonder Woman? Yeah, we just finished. Okay, yeah. so that's a largely chick. Oriented film, is it? What, what's, <laughs> tell us what's the difference. In, not what's well, the difference I mean, between you know, men and women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to biology to very quickly right now. <laughs> um, no, but at one moment I found myself on a, uh, <laughs> on a beach in Italy with 20 uh, Amazonian women, and I was the only man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Life could be worse. It could be a jester. Uh, no, it's, it's a... It's, it really, it really, it's going to be a fantastic film, and Gal uh, Godot, who's, who's uh, starring as Wonder Woman, is, is fantastic, and Patty Jenkins, who directed it, is, it's a really solid story, I think, told really well done, and I'm excited for it. Well, speaking of awesome chicks, Zach, you recently uh, was in a lip sync battle doing Missy Elliott. Oh, please One play of the this. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite please things I've ever seen. I think we have a little bit of it oh, here. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Live yeah. I love that so much. <laughs> How long did that take to learn all that? Were you already like across that? Song? You don't nearly have as much time as you would want going into <laughs> that environment. It was uh, it was really stressful actually. I, I had like uh, maybe two and a half hours of rehearsal. How long, did, how long did it take you to bedazzle the denim? <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on that for a while. <laughs> Uh, but it was it was really exhilarating. Zoe and I did it together, and uh, and we had a great time. I mean, you know, Didn't it was all Didn't Cindy Crawford come out? Yeah, I did another number as well. I did George Michael's yeah. uh, Freedom, and, oh. and I got Cindy Crawford to come and recreate yes. her bathtub moment from the original <laughs> video. From the, I mean, you know, I took it kind of seriously, and I still lost. <laughs> You're Which is the worst you part You won in our it. eyes. We Thank you. you. I won in most people's eyes. <laughs> fans, really. You won a lot of fans. There's no doubt about that, Zachary. And Chris, you, your fans have an interesting... You got some group, Are they groupies? I don't know. They're, they're fans that call themselves a certain term, which I they're love. They're just awesome. Yeah, but what, what do they call themselves? Uh, no, they're called the Pine Nuts. The <laughs> Pine <laughs> uh, What's the Pine Nuts in the eyes? You know, Thank you very much. Thank you. The other thing that's great about this film, Simon Pegg wrote it, oh. yeah. which, which obviously makes it, you know, uh, is, <laughs> humor's in there. Is it, is, it, is it nice having him on set and kind of like these days, or is it more pressure because you know he wrote it? Or what? It was I'm, like, uh, I felt like the, the patients took control of the insane asylum yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like having your big brother in charge somewhere along, you know, across the across the way knowing that you could change a line here and there. It was it great made it fun. It so much easier in a lot of ways. You know, th this was the first of the three movies that JJ didn't direct and I felt like Simon uh, stepped up and, and inhabited uh, a space that was really exciting to have. So we're glad right. I'm so sorry to say that we have about three seconds left on the show. Oh, right. Star Trek is in cinemas from July 21. Would you please thank Zachary? Oh, how do you think your daddy did, huh? He totally blew it. That game oh, so easy. No, it's not easy. It's a hard I'm game. I'm like my other father. Oh, the other father. You have two daddies? Yeah. One, two? He's just my f***. <laughs>